Busy, busy week, huh? Sorry, my stream schedule has been kind of doo doo butter. But we're doing another IGC showcase for Growbot. That was a cute little game that's been in my. This was in my wish list for a while. I think this came out um, in October, November, if I remember correctly. But I really like the art style of this quite a bit. I do hope that... Well, I don't know if it's like a point and click kind of game. Or uh... This is the asteroid Q, home to a small population of robots. That's cute. Tonight, a young robot named Nara is leaving home to begin her captaincy. Cap the fuck word is that? Training on board of the Ventral Space Station. Wow. Uh, oh, wait, do I have to miss something? No. Ventral is one of the six stations which together protect Q. Can I like explore around? Oh, hey Kevin, how's it going? I popped into your stream like a little bit before I had mine. Nor is moving there to learn how to tend to the power flowers which create the station's shield. Okay. Super dandy, how are ya? Oh, busy, busy. You know, the week of Christmas, I'm running around wrapping gifts, you know, all that jazz. After Lieutenant Kino has shown her to her room, Nora drifts away off to sleep, unaware that outside another visitor is arriving. Oh shit. But you know what I'm going to make for Christmas? I'm going to make some chocolate fudge with peppermint on top. It's going to be great. Early the next morning. I got everything but forgot the fucking Christmas tags. Yeah. That's an easy thing to forget. Lieutenant- Oh my god. Kino told me yeah, oh, I hope it's true. I like my room. The light sprites kept me up most of the night with their static song. But it was comforting somehow. Whoa. Oh my god, she's so cute. What is going on? Let me increase the desktop audio a little bit. There you go. Ouch, my head. Oh, it's a point and clip. Point and clip, <laughs> point and click. Keepables. All right, let me charge my controller while I'm point and clicking. Nice. Left click to move. Left click on consumables and keepables to examine them. Cursor state interactive. Busy. Drag and drop them here. Okay. Oh, I'm so cute. Oh, these crystals are frightening. Captain Art will know what to do about it. There's something under my bed. Well, my guidebook. Oh, this is a neat history. Wow, I should have brought my glasses for this. Girlbots began their lives as mascots for a human asteroid mining company. 
The company launched a competition to spur interest in its new project, the Asteroid Q. The robot was turned into a toy robot, which people could program with personalities. As part of the com uh, competition, 30 robots were chosen to be delivered to the Asteroid Q, where the owners could track and play with them remotely from their homes. Damn, okay, there's a lot of reading. The they were delivered to the queue shortly after the company abandoned the asteroid for unknown reasons. The robots continued to be tracked for several weeks until one day all communication with them was lost. With no further missions planned to the asteroid, there was no way to retrieve the robots, and in time they were lost. Aww. Only to be found by an alien species known as the geologists. The geologists found the robots beneath the regolith on Q. They brought one to life using a quasi-crystal. The crystal-powered robot was powerful and capable of great good, but its energy levels were unstable. There was a terrible incident, and the crystal-powered robot fled. Damn. Before the geologists could find the crystal robot, a tear in the space appeared near the queue, and from it poured cosmic sea. Unable to flee because their shifts were not built to withstand the cosmic waves the geologists took steps to build a shield around the queue but they were there were few and it would take many to quickly bring about the vision they brought the remaining robots back to life this time using robots grow blooms bioengineered flowers capable of powering and sustaining themselves oh this is a lot I'm not going to read through it all with y'all so I can actually do wait let me see. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's a lot of pages. This one's cute. A star belly alien. Alright, let's close the guidebook and kind of figure out on our own. Coffee all over my letters. I'll clean it up later. I've never seen crystals like these before. How did they grow so quickly? Hello, is anyone there? This is Nara. Do you read me? No one is picking up. I don't understand these paintings. Maybe I'm missing something. There's a, a scared light sprite under the bed. Oh, I don't think he'll come out until he sees his friends. Maybe he can find them and bring them to him. That's cute. Oh, well. Oh, here they are. Can we give them here? <gasps> Here's your friends. They're so cute. There he is. He seems much happier. Aw. He just wants to... Oh, he wants to give me something. Light pollen? Thank you. What does that do? Combine with the hollow prism to create a hollow tech. Okay. Nice. Let's keep going this way. Whoa. What the fuck happened here? Everyday strawberry jam. I wonder why we keep so much jam on board the station. Hmm. Oh, I heard that thought and no, I'm not a Yeti. I'm a star belly. I love the star belly dude. He's cute. What is a star belly? Or a kingdom captain? Star Belly is a fluffy hologram with a galaxy inside. Whoa. Where are Kino and Captain Art? Captain Art was upstairs in the garden. I don't know where Kino is. How do I get upstairs in the garden? You only need holotech. This, the bear won't let you up there without it. We, Ted, is the chief of security. I get you a hollow prism for a small fee, then all you need to do is activate it with light pollen. 
It's a safety measure ever since Silverberry incident. Okay, name your price. I want jam. Not that strawberry jam. You crowbot seed, I want solar berry jam. Okay, how fancy. Captain keeps a recipe for it somewhere here in the kitchen. Once you've made it, use the teleporter to ping it down to me in engineering. Then I'll send you over your hollow prism. Why can't I just hand you the jam? <laughs> I'm a level one hologram, so I can't eat jam or even hold it in my spaghetti arms. Only a level three me can. A level three me lives down in engineering. You can teleport the jam over to her and she will eat it on my behalf. All right, whatever works, bro. Fusion reactor. Each solar berry is delicious. Tell me nuclear reaction, which fuels me up so I can do stuff like fetch you things. Okay, neat. We gotta find the recipe to get this, do some jam. Solar berry jam recipe. Water, sugar, solar berries. Nice. I never used a teleporter before. They should go in a jar first. Huh. Can y'all hear me clicking? Hmm. Maybe I have to keep wandering to find a plain glass jar laying around. All right. But where would I look? I've already quite... I wonder what this does. Oh. Oh, there we go. I didn't know that was a jar. I'm missing some ingredients. Oh! If I use the reactor and say I can make solar berry jam. Oh. That's so cute! There we go. I love this art style. Nice. Looks like the fucking thing from Yu-Gi-Oh. Alright, just a security measure. We're good to go. Found two strawberries yesterday with glitches on them. What does that mean? Geologist trapped inside? I don't know how to free him. What the fuck? It's locked! Oh shit. This is a way I came, right? Yes, okay, cool. I just had to triple check. Oh, maybe I should... Is that? Oh, rookie's wishing access the garden must be scored by a brain pillar. What the fuck is that? I'm gonna have to open my guidebook. Okay. 
brain? No. Oh. I don't see it. Heater, water, centrifuge, hydrogen, pump. Oh my. Music box needs winding up. I wonder how I can awaken it. Shiny or shaking won't work. A brain collapse this program to hibernate. And wake up a specific sound. Ah. Gotta open the music box. Whoa, it looks like the asteroid of Vesta. Today something wonderful happened. We formed an alliance with the genetic folk of Vesta. What is to be done about the teleporter? Rumors of a ho hollow ghost infestation have been spreading. These sound like problems you don't want to have. Crowbot councils to expand to include representatives for greenhouse residents. Oh, right. It's like papers. Light spread shown reduction of light pollen since they being used to power the cloud machine. Captain Ivy is the head of the dorsal station and the longest running captain. I believe they designed the most of the greenhouse systems technology. Cool. Seed house. Communication system would be down. Oh yeah, they don't she doesn't know what a kaleidoscope is? Charge gemeters. No, all I need is a flower arranger. No? A seed house. Is this not seeds? Ooh. Welcome to your flower arranger. Use the tutorial button to begin. Okay. From here, collect a shield that will appear here. Put flower notes and click on them to hear the sound. Drag and drop them in the positions. Okay. Once you have a match, create the cross button to test. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm like confused, but... Use me to melt through deep blue crystals. Oh! Let me go back. Thank you. It was scary inside that crystal. Please accept the seed as a token of my gratitude. Is there anything else I can help you with? What can I do with the seed? It's a daisy seed. I saw what happened to your daisy during the attack. Plant it in a seed grow house to grow it. Then collect its sound into your flower arranger. What? This is crazy. Where are these strange crystals? They're the work of Chrissy. The station is firmly in her grasp. In the terrarium where I grew up, the germs would tell us scary stories about her. Last week, my friend said he saw Chrissy inside the greenhouse system. We all thought he was imagining things, but now I'm not so sure. 
What did your friend see, Chrissy? Oh, where? Well, somewhere near Dorsal Station. Dorsal is the scariest station. Only Captain Ivy works there and a handful of light sprites. There have been rumors of another robot living there, as Captain Ivy has been heard whispering to someone. What does Chrissy look like? They say crystals grow all over her body. Have you seen the captain? No, I'm sorry. I've only seen Wee Teddy's, particularly Kurt the Bear. The only time I've seen him take his hat off was during karaoke at Captain Rose's leaving party. Goodbye, geologist. Think oh they're so much smaller than I thought they were gonna be. I thought they were gonna be like human sized. <laughs> flower not collected, click on a flower to hear its sound. My first flower sound, the daisy is the flower of a new beginning. Oh, I like that. Okay, let me try this out, because this is kind of tricky. I love the art. Is this all, is this like kind of hand drawing? It looks great. Okay. No shield sound to listen to? When you collect a shield, it will appear here. I don't think I've collected a shield, so. Alright, let's go back. Oh, this is the thing to wind it up. I'm so dumb. Good day, Robot. I'm Brain Pillow, your personal guide on board this station. There is much to learn, so let's get started. Please open your he head. I guess it's that easy, huh? Alright, let's go. This feels weird. Drag me from the inventory onto any object or... Well. That sounds like another attack. Wait, let me see what this is. What? They said drag me on an object. To what? To what? If you just click your first flower note, you'll find many more flowers upstairs in the garden. They got any more dialogue? How do I use my flower arranger? Listen, place the sound of the shield you collected. Alright, let's do that again. And create test your arrangement to see if the flower sounds are in the correct position. Use the flower sounds to replicate the sound of the shield. What scary stories would the gems tell you about Chrissy? They told us about how she would capture and crystallize her prey. Yeesh. They told us to never look directly into her heart gem. How can I stop Chrissy? I don't know. The question I'd be asking is how does she break through the station's shield? I'd ask Captain Ivy about that. They designed most of our weapons and shield. Okay, thank you, little guy. No? Okay, whatever. I don't know how to do that. It's locked, huh? <laughs> Let 
Nice. Oh, wow. What the fuck? Yikes, what is that? Blasted shield and it makes me jump every time. To bypass it, we need to recreate its sound using your flower arrangement. Ah, okay. Shield sound to listen to. I'm not sure what they want me to do here because I did the same shit. Yes. I see. Oh, it worked. That was trippy. That was kind of confusing, not gonna lie. Mid shield key, now to drag it on the big red shield block in the doorway. That's cool. Flourishes high up in the dark, damp climates with the aid of Biolumigro. I love bioluminescence. I wish that humans could have that. You know how cool it would be to be glowy just because? Oh, it's an elevator. Cool. the red arrow to zoom out. Please enter five pin hall security code. We did it. See if you like us on YouTube, place the broken water pipe first. Mm. Spray pump. Oh. Oh, well, maybe I have to do it like this. Hmm. Oh. 
What? I'm very lost. No, I need help. <laughs> Let me go to the left. Oh, oh my god, is that crowbar dead? I want so much to connect with this flower. But it's not ready to open. Is this crowbar dead? Captain? Oh my god, he's not responding! This robot is offline. He may have internal damage. We need to open him up. Jesus. Can't open him up. One of his bolts is too tight. This is sad. Is she dead? Oh, an auto save just now. Gotta go back to help him in a sec. Let me go more to the right. Hmm. My low bug needs winding up. Solar barriers all over the ground. I guess they can't be that dangerous. There's something inside. Oh, nice. That little key. Machine. Oh, something's amiss. Insufficient solar berry supply. Please use the robot. Oh, I see. I think this little thing over here. Now I need to. I think this supplies the machine with the berries. Okay, now what? I don't think that'll fit. Uh, what do I do? Let's see if it works now. You use the robot to refill the machine? Okay, I'm trying. I think it will fit. Hmm. 
Oh, this thing is another there either. Maybe... Maybe I get the water working first. Let's go back around. Huh. Oh wait, do these sprites do anything? Oh, hey. That's so cute. Oh, I'm waiting for the berries. Oh no, they unloaded them. It should work now. Insufficient water supply. Please see the water machine with the cloud symbol in the previous room, okay. That's fair. And that's back here. Balum essence. See what am I supposed to do here? That's the water part, you know. How do I do this? I'm quite stuck on this. Is there anything on his side? All right, I guess let's head out. <laughs> mm. I feel like I'm missing something. Soon to be sleeping at a time like this. I don't know what to do. It says I can't reach him. Okay. So, 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 what am I supposed to be doing? Huh? Huh? I'm very lost. I'm clicking this thing, nothing's going. Hmm. 
How is that not the answer? You just told me to make bioluminescence, no? Oh, fuck, it's up there. I think I gotta change the part up here. Oh, there's a shield. I'm not sure how to get rid of this here. How do I get rid of the old ones though? Okay. Hmm. Um, not sure if this is just a me thing or just the, the design of this is a bit finicky. But I don't know how to clear this. We gotta create. We got listen. We we don't have anything else we could do here. I think that's a different flower to be honest. And there's another flower we gotta do. I think it's the bioluminescence. Dark damp climb and see what they oh with the aid of biolumi. Okay, maybe I plant them up here. Yeah, I'm guessing I uh
I see. That was a bit convoluted, not gonna lie. It's pretty. I should be able to figure this out now. I'm gonna go with this. Nice. See if this guy's awake now. I can't reach them. I guess I'll come back later. Oh shit, okay. I mean, this game is pretty cute. I'm gonna make some solar berry jam. Oh, I gotta fix the water thing. I think it, the lock was still on. This thing right here. Nice. Looks like that worked. Okay, let's try it. Low sprite count. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Light sprites ready. Use the switches to fill the empty spaces. This is weird. Jesus. Are they gonna die? Let's 
Which most can be light, it won't work unless the door is closed. This is bizarre. I don't like this. <laughs> Something about this was barbaric, you know? Oh, new plants, huh? I'm so lost. This flower smell wonderful. Is there anything more beautiful than a meadow of wildflowers or a pool of blueberries? Blazing in a forest. What about the magic of the water lily with its roots steeped in the dark so we'll go find the captain? That was so pretty. Now we gotta go find the captain. I think this will be the last thing I do for this. It seems like a pretty um, short game to beat. You know, nice, short, and sweet, looks like. Can't open him up. One of his bolts is too tight. Looks like some of his parts have been dismantled. Reassemble his parts. Oh, okay, once it's right, it will look right. That, that's fair. Mm. 
this is neat. We fixed him! He's awake! Captain, are you okay? Captain? This robot is back online, but something is wrong. I fear the captain may be in a crystal tonic state. Crystal tonic state? That sounds bad. What do we do? The captain is trapped within his own mind. We need you... We need to go in and bring him out. Quick, plug me in. Oh, okay. I was like, how? This is interesting. I've never been inside somebody's head before. I don't think the captain can see me. No, oh, we got a new flower note. Chinese lanterns are often used in the creation of the protective shield. Shield use for when a robot is lost, afraid, or trapped with a negative thought loop. Oh, okay. Whoa. Looks like Rosemary in time to me. Therapeutic use of the loopy berry. Treating a robot stuck in a negative thought loop. Below is an example. I will fall. There is no use to trying. Magical properties of the loopy berry temporarily break the default mode network. A robot's cognitive wiring, which in turn breaks the negative thought loop. Warning. Breaking the negative loop is not a fix unto itself. When the default mode network is broken, a growbot will become lost, confused, and afraid. They will require the support of a growbot therapist to guide them out of their frightened state and rehabilitate them. Recommended dose, infuse three berries with a desired beverage. Jesus. After a solar berry incident, Captain Art would lock himself away up here at night tirelessly working on ways to make the station safer. He blamed himself for what happened, but it was an accident. Damn. Oh, nice. Okay, I couldn't really tell by the audio, so I had to put the accessibility mode on because I was like, what? Chinese lantern biolum. What's the first one? A sunflower. Yeah.
That was hard. I needed the assistance. <laughs> It's no use, I've tried everything. I will never be able to protect my students. Damn. Um, so now what? Oh, this is the song. The flower knows we just did. After a solar berry incident, Captain Art would make himself, yeah. But now what? No, it's empty. Try to think. I don't know what to do. Gotta infuse three berries with a desired beverage. Ah. There we go. Oh, he's up. Where am I? What's happening? I can't move. I'm afraid. Is somebody there? The captain is terrified. I need to do something. Can't hear or see us. The loopy juice worked on him, but we need to find a way of comforting him.
Hello? That's weird. My mic was just being dumb. Alright, um... How can we stop Chrissy? My mic's working now, thanks. Yeah, I was, uh, I had, instead of having my OBS screen up, I had, um... The, the like, Twitch one up. All right, we need to work out how she is breaching our shields so that we can tackle her motivations. We'll keep trying to contact Captain Ivy and the other captains. Okay. Damn, I wonder how long I was talking before I noticed. How's Chrissy breaking through our shields? I don't know, Nara, so much she's breaking through the shield harmonic system. What should we do now, Captain? We need to collect melodies from the Melobies. Yes. Okay, cool. God damn. It's heavy shit. Ah. Okay, dokes. Let me see. I'm wondering if I could let's see I think I'm gonna save here for now oops yeah I'm gonna save here for now cause I am kinda hungry so but yeah this was a neat little game I did enjoy the Quite a bit, you know? Very pretty to look at it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kevin, my moderator is online playing Warzone. So I'm gonna do, I don't, he probably doesn't have any raid alerts, but let's uh, hop on over there. Thanks for stopping by, y'all.